your local news leader in high definition. This is News 12 New Jersey. Thank you, Dave. Coming up in Spotlight, New Jersey, City Murals in Newark. We'll chat with a man who created this community-based public art and youth training program next. Tonight in Spotlight, New Jersey, City Murals in Newark. It's a community-based public art and youth training program. A special mural was dedicated at the intersection of Hawkins and Rome Streets. It was created by Kevin Sampson, a former police officer and sketch artist. Kevin is joining us by phone tonight. Welcome, Kevin. Hi, how are you? Hi, Kevin. Thanks for being with us. Now, tell us all about the City Mural Program and your work with local youth. Well, the City Murals Program is a um, program run by the City of Newark in partnership with City Without Walls, which is a gallery. It's a um, two-year-old community-based program that integrates public art with youth employment and training. The program began, began in the summer of 2009 with federal stimulus funds, and so far um, City Without Walls has completed 13 murals. What wow. it does is it pairs, it pairs um, working professional artists with youth and um, it, you know, it does it does some wonderful things. It forges deeper connections between these youth and their peers, mentors, and communities. Kevin, tell us about the evolution of your work. You're known primarily as a sculptor, so how did you come to create murals and work with young people? Well, I was a composite sketch artist in um, the township of Scotch Plains for many years. After my wife passed away, I took an early retirement, went back to art school, and began teaching um, in at the North School of Fine and Industrial Art here in Newark. Um, I'm primarily known as a sculpture, but from time to time I'll do a mural or two. Over the course of the last two years, I've done four murals with um, the city of North. So my, work is, um, my work has evolved because murals are such a positive and wonderful way to get youth involved in, um, you know, in, the, in the community. That's impressive, Kevin, and we're sorry to hear about your wife. Now, as a former police officer, where do you go from here? What comes next for you? Well, I'm a working artist. I have a gallery in New York. Um, I'm with the Cavern Moss Gallery, actually, in Manhattan. And so what I'll, what I'll do in the meantime, while it's cold, is I'll work on my own work, which is making sculptures and found objects. So I have a bunch of shows coming up in the next couple of months. When it gets warm again, I'll go back to making murals and, um, you know, working. Kevin, how many youngsters would you say you work with? Over the course of the past, I've been working with kids for a very long time. Over the course of the past 10 years, what I try to do is work with them, try to get them into art schools, and then mentor them all the way through college. Aww. And I've been pretty successful. I've done, um, there's probably 10 kids that I've worked with that um, I've gotten through college so far. Wow. That must make you so proud, and Kevin. And the work is so beautiful. It's We're looking gorgeous. at images of it now, yeah. Thank you so oh, much no. for joining us tonight to talk about it. Kevin Samson with City Murals there in Newark. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much now. Thanks, have a great night. Your local news leader. This is News 12 New Jersey. A beautiful and special mural gets dedicated at the intersection of Hawkins and Rome Streets in Newark. It's part of City Murals, a community-based public art and youth training program. It's a creation of Kevin Sampson, a former police officer and now sketch artist. The mural is called The Cut to symbolize the Brick City's past, present, and future. I tried to create something beautiful that made some sense also. And this, the mural itself reflects the old Nork on the left, the um, new Nork on the right, and in the middle, it represents hope, which is the little girl walking through the doorway. The Ironbound community was involved throughout the process, allowing for the many cultures present in that surrounding neighborhood to have a presence in the final work of art.